Start your computations. last minute opening for Pilates so I'm over here rushing to get there to the class also we're in the new car <laughs> look ah! Ah! I've always wanted a sunroof yeah we gotta I don't even know where to put this every now and then I'll like check to see um, if there's any openings because I find that these classes get full so quickly like you have to book them out way at least like a week in advance most times like somebody cancels a class and there's an opening but the thing with that is that sometimes it's just last minute so missed my last Pilates class I'm like okay let me just hurry up and go to this one I don't know when my next like free day will be oh I thought he was hopping at me so yeah, it's been a hot minute, so I'm excited to go. Upper body is still kind of sore because the other day I did an upper body workout. And then yesterday I was moving, I was helping the twins move. So <laughs> that also was like a workout too. excited so I don't I don't want today to be too on the go too busy I've been doing like the on the go thing and being super like busy and stressed and having one thing after the other like the past few weeks so I'm just really craving like a chill day the day I just want to like kind of relax and have a me day and kind of recharge I think that's what the rest of the day is gonna be maybe I'll even I don't know get crazy do a face mask or something <laughs> that's kind of the rundown I'll talk to you guys when I get over to Pilates hopefully I'm able to record I'm gonna really try to record
let those hips move. This is the last 15 counts of class. Push it out. You got it. Hold. Even if you can hold that plank, that's all I want. Good. Way to push yourself, guys. I love the dedication. You only got 10. In eight, we're riding ourselves to the front for that child's pose. In five, in four, three, two, and one. <laughs> I know that, that was really tough fun, but you guys did great. Barely any breaks. Very underdressed. <laughs> This cafe. I ended up getting a go figure brown sugar latte and then an egg for some. But um, they have a bunch of like cool stuff on their menus. Everything from like burgers, noodles, breakfast, and also like a bunch of cool um, coffee, like the Vietnamese coffee, boba tea, iced tea. So see how good it is. It's cute. And everybody's like all in cute dresses and summer sun dresses and stuff and I'm over here like hooded up. Um, but this would be, I want to come back because this would be a really cute spot to have like a girls brunch at. This is the outside. so cute I want to come back when I'm like properly dressed and like somebody it'll be like a cute girls brunch spot it's just getting a little bit too packed and there's a bunch of people coming in so I decided to get it to go instead of like sitting down there and waiting and take up a bunch of like table space when there's like a bunch of other people families and stuff groups together I'm like let me just take it to go so dang so I guess they all come in one size so I got the brown sugar latte um oh, i forgot to tell them with oat milk i think this is regular milk well this was a fail <laughs> i'm gonna give this to Dee, Dee or nyla or one of them i specifically because i'm so used to ordering at starbucks so like i completely forgot to mention oat milk I'm gonna just take a couple sips anyways and try it. Oh my god. Like all the syrup is like at the bottom. That's good though. I believe I just wasted my money though. But at least I did get breakfast. Let's hope this is right. Okay, yeah, this one is right. I just got an egg croissant. Oh, they put a cute little thing in there. Egg croissant. I'm gonna go back and eat that. Dang, why did I fumble that? But this is good. So, shoot. All right, kind of a fail. Can't believe I forgot to specify oat milk. I definitely can't drink this whole thing. Like, can you imagine me drinking this whole thing with regular dairy milk? I am gonna explode. Free drink for Dee Dee or Nyla, whoever's at the house. Mikhail, I was thinking about it. The science. It's yeah, the science. You mind holding this? Oh, it's this the lie? science. I think it's with a baby. Remember that old one? Now it's with a baby. That has to be the thumbnail from the old one. And then now when she was pregnant? Baby. No, the old one from the old house. That old, old vlog. With us three. I mean, we went to the store to Target or something. I think we went oh, to Target. So we did so funny. much. Adventures. <laughs> and I, of course, found a bucket hat. I'm trying to get some pool equipment. Mm -mm -mm. This one too. Mm -mm -mm. I just love this. I'm looking at it Y'all, my phone is just the worst phone ever in the world. I it's like broken. As if I don't have enough 
Like I said, you had a lot of bucket hats. <laughs> but I like bucket hats. So get some more. Get some more. Get this one. Oh, it's hecka big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did not think it was that big. Me neither. For Trader Joe's haul. You've been asking and asking and asking, what do you get from Trader Joe's? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but we're gonna uh, do a little haul because I found some new items there today while I was shopping. I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to check them out because I know I love when there's a new little Trader Joe's item that actually be hidden. This is actually heavy. So the first one that I'm excited about is this strip bow buns and they come with the dipping sauce. This one, you guys have seen me try their brown sugar boba. This is more like up my alley. I don't actually eat the little pearl balls. I prefer lychee jelly in my boba. If I was to order boba, this is kind of the flavor, flavor that I go for. Passion fruit, mango, green tea. I'm like, I know Dee Dee and Isla are gonna wanna try these. Trader Joe's be just, they just be knowing. Them people down in Monrovia, they just get it. It's like a perfect summer drink, I feel like. I have this new Pad CU. A lot of times when I go to Thai restaurants, if I don't get like Pad Thai, like a tofu curry, I would get Pad CU. Sometimes it's actually a little better than Pad Thai in my opinion. I just can't wait to try this. Their, their Pad Thai from Trader Joe's is actually really good too. Except one one critique that I would give it is it has a little bit too much of the sprouts. Fine with a little bit of sprouts, but sometimes it's just like a pile of sprouts and I could do without so many of those. Besides that, this is not new, but I just don't know how I never tried it. Pineapple salsa, so I'm gonna give it a try, see how I like it. I got some, instead of getting tortillas, I'm gonna probably do it with some pita bread and have like a taco wrap situation but with pita bread because i don't know i feel like i like pita wraps but i'm gonna make it like taco style fave this is like my go-to their vegan tzatziki also do this with a wrap with this and i feel like it'll be fire so yeah besides that i just got like the regular essentials that i always get nothing very exciting i get frozen fruit for my smoothies vegan ice cream milk bagels coconut water like the essentials that I always get every week. That's the haul. Don't you stop when we go. Keep me on tippy toes now. You let that thing when it book out. You see when I'm walking away. You feel that you want me to stay. I sleep in the way for the day. My floor is a nation. We could get comfortable. I get you comfortable. I show you something. This is something else.
I hate this time of the year when all the kids are out of school because now the gyms are filled up at every time of the day. It's like all the gym kids, and I love that for them. I love that for them that they're in there, you know, doing their workout, still staying active while they're on summer vacation. But man, like I need them to disappear <laughs> because they're just in the way. And then especially like, like the girls I don't mind because they're normally like just buddied up and like focused on their workout. But the dudes, they just take up so much space and they're just like joking around, laughing around. And again, I love that for them, but they're in the way. <laughs> like they're just all up in the way and they don't have a sense of personal space like whatsoever. They'll just be like having their stuff laid out on one spot while they're taking up the equipment in another spot bouncing back and forth and I'm just like can you like go somewhere anyways um so yeah I didn't really get to record my whole workout like I wanted to but I did a full body I mean not a full body I did an upper body you guys only saw one set that I did um push-ups I did some like chest press with dumbbells yeah, that was pretty much all I just kind of stuck to those three major ones and I was over it after that. I'm like, it's too crowded. I feel claustrophobic. I don't like it. I need to go. So I'm thinking when I go back home, I'm just gonna like stretch out in the backyard a little bit and kind of just maybe do a little yoga flow. Nothing too crazy. Um, just to kind of finish it off a little bit. But... 